Hello tribe and welcome to a new video on your YouTube channel. I'm sending you peace and love wherever you are right now. I hope your 2022 is going great with love, with encouragement, with losing fear, connecting with yourself, connecting with your goals, connecting with people more and more and more and connecting with nature. If you love nature, make sure you see it every day or every week. <laughs> so let's finish the series of talking about finding God. I mean, this topic is endless. If we were to talk about it, we would spend our whole, my whole life just talking about it. But I wanted to share what I know and to share with you the insights about connecting with God because we all need that connection in the end. And my role is just to guide you and the rest is definitely on you. And this is a life journey. It's not a mission for one time. You want to have that connection for the rest of your life, for the rest of eternity. So it's really essential. And if you have connection with God, then you know that you have connection with everyone and everything as well. Let's talk about love, unconditional love. What is unconditional love? If we want to start, let's give an example. So this will make it clearer, easier to understand and to digest. The mom usually loves her children unconditionally you could say 100% you could say 90% you could say 80% it really depends on the relationship between the mom and her kid but usually the mom would give you anything without return and will do everything in her power to protect you to love you, to provide you with everything that you need from shelter to food to a room to, to, be, to be able to sleep in, quiet room. When you're sick, she would take care of you. It's unconditional. It's unconditional love. So this is just to give an example. And you know, lots of the times you might have conflicts or arguments as you grow up with your, with your mom. And regardless, she would still love you. She would still love you. That's unconditional love. This does not mean she can't put boundaries and she can't have self-respect and teach her kids to respect her but her love is always present all the time in all the circumstances and she could not she could not have hatred in her heart to her children no way unless she is crazy but talking about general mom mom in general it's impossible to hate your kids so how can you apply and implement that in your life now it's definitely not easy to love everyone and everything and it might take you for the rest of your life to love everything and everyone maybe you think that you don't need that or that's unnecessary why why should i bother loving everyone well 
loving everyone does not mean you have to deal with everyone or you have to agree with everyone just like forgiveness you forgive people but you don't have to keep them in your life same thing with love you can love people and forgive them but they don't have and they don't need to stay in your life look at the cats for example if you have a cat or if you had a cat here, uh, before um, you know that cats love unconditionally and regardless of how many times you get angry at your cat they will still love you I haven't raised a dog so I can't speak of dogs maybe it's the same but cats for sure they love you with no conditions they might scratch your face at times they might scare the hell out of you by doing stupid moves but they still love you no matter what as long as you're not uh, a threat as long as you're you're not a threat to their life and they feel safe so unconditional love will make you love everything including the tree the flower on the street the water I mean look at everything around you look at nature it's full of love nature is willing to give you everything you need from air that includes oxygen food water the Sun all that and even if you curse nature even if you treat nature poorly it will still treat you the way it was meant to treat you that does not mean you have the right to destroy nature or to not respect nature but what I'm trying to say is we can learn from nature that regardless of the amount of hatred or um, harm that we got from people from others in the past or in these days we can let go and here's the secret the moment you let go of the energy of that person how do you do that by forgiving and loving them and wishing them the best you allow them to exit your life so people who study energy will understand everything the science now knows and those who are into awareness they know that you don't let go of people by holding on to them or by not forgiving them you let go of people by letting go of their energy and that means by forgiving them by letting go of the heaviness on your shoulders so try to think of someone who hurt you in the past if you haven't forgotten them it might take time and that's okay just remind yourself you don't need to have grudge in your heart it's not good for you and you forgive people for you not for them you love people for you not for them and again this is a process it might take a lifetime and that's that's normal you don't have to put yourself under pressure and say I want to forgive everyone right now you can't do that you really can't 
it's accumulated so it takes days and weeks months and even years but there is a deep wisdom to this because this is healing once you clear the fog in your mind and once you cleanse your heart from all the grudge and all the things that people have done to you you can see clearly what you want in your life you can see clearly who you are and what are you here for so this is my invite to you my friend i hope and i trust that this video delivers the message and inspires you like always if you feel this inspire you make sure you share it with others and you subscribe so you can receive every single video from me to you love and peace see you soon